We're in Johannesburg and we're at the FTTX Council Conference and I'm here with Ankit Agarwal from STL. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Paula. So I know that STL considers itself a data networks innovator for tomorrow's network creators. So what exactly do you mean by that? Firstly, thank you for having us. Uh, at Sterlite, we actually believe that innovation is at the core of everything we do. We do that kind of innovation through our three verticals uh, around network solutions, uh, network software, and network services. Uh, we provide these connectivity solutions for our telecom solutions, to our telecom operators globally. We work with eight out of 10 operators globally. We work with the leading internet service providers, we work with data center companies, and essentially the way we see network and the data evolving, we see that data is growing at almost 60 to 70 percent year on year. And the networks that need to be get built to cater to this kind of explosion of data has to have some disruptive solutions. So we work very closely with our customers globally, and we really help them build these networks together. Okay, so you mentioned connectivity solutions. So can you tell me a bit more about your different optical communication uh, products and your FTTX solutions for operators? So as we see the networks evolve, we've been working with operators around the world. We actually work with eight out of 10 operators in the world and uh, top of the 10 largest operators in the world. And what we find is continuously that they're looking at end-to-end -end solutions. So where we've evolved is innovation on the fiber, the cable, also the connectivity, the passive connectivity, and also into category cables. So I think that end-to-end -end offering is very exciting for our customers. Uh, we're also, in terms of scale, now approaching the world top three. So I think that's also very, very interesting for our customers. Our solutions always are customized for our customers. We, of course, we have a portfolio, but the value lies in understanding our customers' problems and doing something customized for them. And I think that's something we're very proud of, and we've demonstrated that time and again. STL is already a global integrated fiber producer. So what are your capacity expansion plans? And um, how are you shaping up in the manufacturing units? I know the units in Brazil, India, Italy, and China. So we're very proud that we're very global. We serve our customers globally, as I mentioned, over 100 countries. We do that through our uh, absolutely integrated manufacturing. In our core of glass and fiber, we are now approaching 50 million fiber kilometers. And that's at the back of almost $150 million investment. And that's taken us into the world top three position. So we're very proud of that. And our customers also appreciate that kind of scale from us. On the cable side, we are now at close to 33 million fiber kilometers, which we're now expanding, and we will complete in the next few months. And again, that comes through a back end of complete diversity in terms of portfolio. As I said, we go from applications that range from small cell applications, uh, hyperscale data center applications, long distance applications, and really looking at fiber to the home and doing it in a meaningful way. So that's the complete portfolio of our capacity. And we're also building some good capacity on our category cables and the passive portfolio. I know you recently acquired this company called IDS, and they're a European data center design and deployment company. So what was the strategy behind that acquisition? No, we are very excited about this acquisition. This is a great step forward for the company. While we've been looking at and building uh, solutions on the passive layer uh, for the data center companies, we were always looking at taking it a step forward and looking at end-to-end -end design of the data centers. That's exactly what IDS does. There's a great team of 21 people, and they really work with two of the world's top cloud companies to make this happen. And we are really great to have them on board. We're, I think it, it serves our purpose of expanding our market size to 75 billion in terms of addressable opportunity. And I think looking at how we're expanding our services business in India, if we, if we look at this acquisition, I think that grows our capability significantly. So we're very excited, and we think that will add a lot of value to the business. I know you're a platinum sponsor here at this conference, so obviously you see Africa as a, a great growth market. So what are the plans on the continent? We are very excited about Africa, actually, and uh, this is one of our key growth areas globally. We have a full team here now that's based across in uh, Africa, in Ivory Coast, in parts of Kenya, and we're actually growing that team. So along with that, we actually have a local partner in FTTX who really works to provide the end-to-end -end solution that we've showcased out here. Uh, in Africa, we're working with tier one operators. All the large operators are with us. In, Af uh, in South Africa in particular, we just shared a press release recently on a partnership with Frogfoot, and we're actually doing some disruption out there for them as well. Another partner we shared some solutions with was Wumatel, and we're again out there doing solutions which will actually reduce their time of deployment by almost 30%. So this is something we're very proud of. The operators are appreciating it. And now we're seeing more and more traction, especially at this conference, for some of our disruption that we bring. That's great. But now, tell me a bit more about um, STL's responsibility beyond business. Sure. Um, how do you think the company can help society? So sustainability is at the core of what we do at Sterlite. 
Our purpose is to transform lives uh, by delivering smarter networks. So that's really a strong purpose. We keep talking about it, but we also share examples of how we do that within the company. I want to share three or four examples of that. Number one, even at the promoter level of our company, our chairman, he has committed 75% of the wealth back to charity. And that's a public announcement and we're absolutely committed to that. So at the heart of everything we do, ultimately everything will go to charity. The second part is in terms of our sustainability, we absolutely are committed uh, to United Nations policies. Uh, we have, for example, the second company in the world as a fiber optic company to have zero waste to landfill. And that's something that is certified by a European entity, Intertech. It's something that we're very, very proud of because that really means that there's nothing absolutely going into the landfill and everything is recycled. And uh, there's also a lot that we're doing on uh, gender diversity. And that's something also we're very proud of. For example, we run one of the world's largest coloring lines uh, in, our, in our coloring, in our factory, in our uh, optic fiber cable. The entire line uh, across the three shifts is only run by women. And believe me, they do better than the men. So it's something that we're very proud of. And it's, uh, this is something that is the core of Starlight DNA. Okay, well, thank you so much. It's been great meeting you. Thank you. Pleasure.